Hello everyone, Canon Fowdy here, bringing you another How To Isle 2 video. This video will be all about dive bombing. First, let's go over why you would want to dive bomb over level bomb. It's going to be more accurate, and you do not have to worry about cloud cover over the target. The downside, though, is that you are going to be spending more time over the target, which means you have to worry about enemy fighters and AA, and you're going to be closer, which makes the AA's job a lot easier. So, before you even take off, make sure you go into your plane setup and drop your fuel down. You don't want 100% fuel. You're going to see a decrease in performance, so I would suggest putting it between 50 and 70, depending on uh, how far you're going to go out and how long you're going to be up in the air. Next, make sure you set your bomb timers. If you are bombing stationary targets, you can keep it between 3 and 5. If you're going to be bombing moving targets like tanks or vehicles that keep moving, you might want to drop it a little lower. Just be aware though that if you are close to the bomb when it goes off, there's a chance it may damage your plane. Right, and then let's look at our bomb load. Uh, for this, I'm going to just bring two 250s. I would suggest not going below 250 if you can when you're beginning, as it is kind of hard to aim. But if you do end up using smaller bombs, definitely make sure to drop those in pairs, as pretty much anything below a 250 kilogram bomb, you need a direct hit to kill something that's not a soft target. Alright, so let's get into the air. I will be right back. Alright, and we are back in an aisle two. First, before you even get to the target, make sure you're at about 1k, or 1,000 meters. This will give you enough room to have a nice angle of attack to drop your bomb, and then get some altitude back before turning around to get another run. Also, you're going to want to set your bomb mode. Since we have 250s, we're going to do in singles, but if we had anything lower than that, we would probably be better off dropping in pairs, since you don't want to be over the target unless you have to be. The longer you spend over the target, the better chance fighters or AA will get you. So, drop in single. Alright. Target should be right ahead of us. I just have a mission with some artillery for us to drop on. Be right there. There we go. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is when you get close to the target, you're going to throttle back a little bit. Drop your nose to the target. This will give you a, a little bit of time to get lined up. Put your crosshair a little over the target and just keep it straight. And then once it passes below the reticle, drop the bomb. Throttle back up and start climbing. All right, let's go over and see how that bomb dropped in. See, we're already back up at 1K. Yep, we got it. All right, let's do another one. Line up. Throttle back. Crosshair a little over the target. When it passes below, drop the bomb and pull up. That looks like a nice hit too. And that's it for our bombs, and that's pretty much it for dive bombing. If you want to practice, I'd suggest just making a quick mission like this with some artillery or whatever you want to practice bombing, and do it over and over again. Definitely uh, get some practice in with the smaller munitions. If you can hit with those, you can hit with the larger ones. So, Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Also, check out my Twitch channel for when I start flying with there. And if you would like to learn anything else, definitely make sure to post in the comments below and we can try and get something out. See you guys later.